design. We start out with loose and light lines and we draw a squiggle. Make sure your squiggle is pretty curvy and then we start to drop vertical lines off of each of the outside curves and we'll drop a line off of the end and the beginning. Once we have that, we start to do this. We copy the parallel line above it. So see how I'm watching that curve. And I like to start back here. So you can see like right here where I'm going to commit to that line, you can see the parallel line happening. And again, copy the line above it. So I'll start here on the curve and work my way back and then we want to make sure that we get a really good curve there so that we get that nice three-dimensional effect on ribbon design. Again, start from here and work my way up. Uh, and I will commit to these lines as I'm going along so you can see them clearly. And uh, when you're doing this, uh, one of the things you want to keep in mind is that this juncture right here is the most important thing because this is where we get the real nice curve and uh, get a sense of curvature and get a sense of, of three-dimensionality to it and then we'll tie it up right here. Now this is a great technique for doing things like um, you can turn it on this side and then all of a sudden you have something like this where you have a roller coaster and you can draw a roller coaster and there are some people in the roller coaster and they're having fun and here's the second one coming up the hill that's pretty good you can also turn it this way and you can make it into uh, you can put a here an eye on there and give it a mouth and then we can make it into kind of like a snake or uh, something like that give it some directional lines and you can turn these ribbon designs into anything and we can round this out. So this becomes an eel.